Today's Morning Minute, Agent of Redemption, Day 28 of the Fraud Committed by Satan Against Man. Merriam-Webster defines fraud as follows, intentional perversion of truth in order to induce another to part with something of value or to surrender a legal right. Adam believed the perversion of truth caused by the lies of Satan and allowed death, sin, sickness, disease, selfishness, revenge, hate, bitterness, injustice, lack, fear, worry, depression, condemnation, oppression, blame, shame, guilt, and the satanic rule of earth. And we read in Romans 5, verse 17 in the NIV, for, for if by the trespasses of one man, Adam, death reigned through that one man, Adam, how much more will those who receive God's abundant provision of grace and of the gift of righteousness reign in life through the one man, Jesus Christ? The one man, Adam, believed Satan, which caused destruction. And the one man, Jesus Christ, the anointed one, brought redemption, brought redemption to all that receive the gift of righteousness, right standing with God. I am redeemed from eternal death and given eternal life by the resurrected Christ Jesus living in me. I am redeemed from the curse by the blood of Jesus revealed through the Holy Spirit. I am redeemed from the sweat of the brow in Christ Jesus. I am redeemed from the curse of sickness and disease by the blood of Jesus Christ. I am redeemed from all sin and all the consequences of sin, shame, guilt, condemnation, oppression, depression, injustice, forgiveness, orphan spirit, rejection, fear, and lack by the resurrected Christ Jesus. So what is the purpose of redemption? We read in 2 Corinthians 5.21 in the NIV, God made him who had no sin, to be sin for us, so that, so that in him, Christ, we might become the righteousness of God in, in Christ Jesus. The purpose of redemption was to bring mankind back into relationship with God. So Jesus took all sin, sickness, and disease caused by the fall, the destruction, and we received his righteousness through Jesus Christ. You are a new creation in Christ Jesus. You've been redeemed, restored, reconciled to God in Christ Jesus. Jesus took all sin, spiritual death, judgment, wickedness, and the curse on the cross. He restored followers of Christ into their rightful position, sitting at the right hand of God in Christ Jesus. He took mankind's wickedness and gave mankind his righteousness. Everything you can do, everything you do can be redemptive. You're an agent of redemption and reconciliation, bringing everything in line with the purpose of God. The will of God is that all mankind will receive the love of God through Jesus Christ's shed blood poured out for all mankind to redeem mankind from the, from the fall and high treason of Adam. You are an agent ambassador on assignment to bring redemption. Your work is redemptive. Your service is redemptive. Your family is redemptive. Your health is redemptive. Your finances are redemptive. Your, your children are redemptive. Your marriage is redemptive. Your life is redemptive. Your wealth and money is redemptive. Your community, state, and country is redemptive. Everything you do today can have a redemptive purpose. Jesus Christ legally and judicially restored you back to your legal family as a child of God in the image and likeness of God. You have all the legal rights and privileges as a son or daughter of God. You are blessed. You're designed to operate at the level of your father. You have life abundantly. You have the mind of Christ and the wisdom of God living in you. Amen and amen.